Let's take a ride on Africa's most famous river. Share your high scores in the comment section below. You have 15 seconds for each question. Let's go! Question 1. What is the title of the mystery novel by Agatha Christie about the murder of a young heiress aboard a cruise ship on the Nile River? It's Death on the Nile. This popular novel is an upcoming mystery thriller film and is scheduled to be theatrically released on December 18th and is a follow-up of the 2017 film Murder on the Orient Express. Question 2. The Nile is known to be the longest, deepest, or cleanest river in the world. It's the longest river in the world. Stretching over 6,650 kilometers, it is considered the world's longest river, with the second longest being the Amazon River, followed by the Yangtze River. Question 3. Which of these animals is unique to the Nile River? Is it the Nile River Otter, the Nile Dolphin, or the Nile Crocodile? It's the Nile Crocodile, the second largest of the crocodile species. Did you know that the Nile Crocodile prefers fresh water over salt water? With the Nile River being a freshwater river, it's no wonder its waters are teeming with this apex predator. Question 4. Ancient Egyptians believed that the Nile River was the gateway to the underworld, middle world, or Asgard. The Nile River is believed to be the gateway to the underworld, with the eastern side representing life and the western side being the land of the dead. More recently, however, the Nile may be the window to the Earth's mantle for scientists to understand the inner workings of our planet. Question 5. Ancient Egyptians often relax along the Nile River by playing football, board games, or discus throw. They played board games by the river. An especially popular board game called Senate was played by both royalty and commoners using an ancient Egyptian version of dice known as knuckle bones. Question 6. This dam was built in 1970 to control the flow of the river so that the Nile no longer floods each year. It's the Aswan High Dam, and it was built to control the annual flood of the mighty Nile River while providing electricity to the Egyptians with its 12 giant Soviet-built turbines. Question 7. Although the Nile is often associated with Egypt, it actually flows through how many countries? Is it 4, 7, or 11? The Nile flows through 11 countries, including Burundi, Democratic Republic of Congo, Egypt, Ethiopia, Eritrea, Kenya, Rwanda, South Sudan, Sudan, Tanzania, and Uganda. Question 8. Each year, the Egyptians have a holiday called Wafa El Nil to celebrate the ancient flooding of the Nile. How long is this holiday? Wafa El Nil, or Fidelity of the Nile, is a two-week-long holiday celebrated on 15th of August every year. The ancient Egyptians believed the annual flooding to be the tears of Isis, who was mourning the death of her beloved husband Osiris. Question 9. The Nile is made up of which of the following tributaries? Is it the White Nile, Blue Nile, or both? The Nile is made up of both the White and Blue Nile, which merges near Khartoum, Sudan, to become the Nile. While the White Nile is the longer tributary, the Blue Nile is the main source of water and fertile soil. Question 10. In ancient Greek, the Nile was represented by a river god named Nautilus, Nilus, or Nyx. Yes, it's Nilus. The name Nile is believed to have come from the god of the river Nile in Egypt, who according to Greek mythology was one of the 3,000 river god's children of Oceanus and Thetis. Question 11. What is the name of this iconic bend in the Nile River near Luxor? The Horseshoe Bend, the Great Bend, or the Bowknot Bend? Did you get it right? The Horseshoe Bend is in Arizona, USA. The Great Bend is near Luxor, Egypt. And the Bowknot Bend is in Utah, USA. Question 12. What is the color of the thick, rich mud on the flooded banks of the Nile River, which is excellent for planting crops? 
mud along the Nile River is black, and the ancient Egyptians called the river Ar, which means black, and grew crops in this life-giving mud left behind when the Nile flooded. Question 13. Archaeologists have discovered which rare mineral along the Nile River? Was it blood rubies, emerald, or gold? They discovered gold. Over the years, archaeologists discovered a gold processing facility along the banks of the River Nile, and even a 3,400 year old tomb that held the remains of Egyptians who once worked in a gold mine. Question 14. What is one of the most notable Nile plants used by ancient Egyptians to make paper? Was it reed, papyrus, or hemp? It's the papyrus plant that grows in the marshy areas around the Nile River. Apart from writing materials, papyrus was also used to make boats, rope, sandals, and baskets. Question 15. Name this fierce fish with dagger-like teeth that can be found in the Lower Nile River system. Is it piranha, tigerfish, or jawfish? This is the tigerfish, and it is closely related to the South American piranhas. Its larger relative, the Goliath tigerfish, can be found in the Congo River and has only one known predator, the Nile crocodile. Question 16. Name this ancient stone that was discovered in the Nile Delta covered in Egyptian hieroglyphs. It's the Rosetta Stone. Before its discovery, nobody knew how to read ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs, so this stone became a valuable key to deciphering the hieroglyphs. Question 17. The ancient Egyptian god of the Nile was known as Happy Ra or Osiris. Happy was the god of annual flooding of the Nile in ancient Egyptian religion, allowing Egyptians to grow crops along the river banks. Ancient Egyptians would often throw offerings, amulets and other sacrifices into the Nile to worship Happy. Question 18. Name this freshwater fish that can be found in the lower Nile river system. Did you get it right? It's the Nile perch, one of the world's largest freshwater fish and one of the most highly valued food and angling species. It was cultivated by Egyptians in fish ponds over 4,000 years ago, alongside the tilapia. Did you beat this quiz? Remember to share your marks in the comment section below. Like and subscribe for more trivia questions.